Hi, I'm Dee and welcome back to my channel. Hey there, I'm Dee and thank you guys so much for tuning in to my video today. For all of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Um, rude, I just got a text, hold on. <laughs> this just in, Goodwill is having a sale. <laughs> okay. Someone says better when you hold on to a helping hand Sometimes we could all use a friend Alright, I was working on my planner today and I went to the grocery store yesterday and gosh darn it, they started that game again. <laughs> darn you! Heritage Cookbook, the exciting story of food in American life featuring 705 recipes. Look at that. Oh my god. This is so cool. Notes, I love it. <laughs> Favorite cookie. I still have all my <laughs> all my Valentine's Day because hello it's still spreading love no I'm just kidding uh, yeah I'm gonna have to go ahead and start taking all that stuff down but once once I get the plastic storage container ready because I don't want to just place it in the garage because I'm afraid that if I do that it's just gonna stay there you know I'm right well, hey guys, mom is actually watching some YouTube. Um, we're just cracking up. It's a Native American YouTuber, and um, we just totally are just laughing away. Anyway, so um, I am ready to now get going on my chicken marcella recipe i gotta make sure i got everything that i need for this i'm pretty sure i do but it's always a good idea to double check and all that it is a gorgeous day today i also need to get my mom up and change so i can get her into the wheelchair so i can give her some outside time and enjoy this sun california sun <laughs> Mashed potatoes going. Ooh. My mushrooms, onions. Ooh. Good. Always I remember your bad dreams. And how you turn my mind completely into such a mess. So easily. And it really came as no surprise. <laughs> Well, good morning on this Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> it's still there. How many of you get those text alerts from certain stores? It's like, oh, I always get those. I got to figure out. Um, I have to turn those off. I really do. So anyways, I am back here in my lovely office, which is my laundry room because hello, today I'm going to try to finish finish what I started <laughs> over the weekend, which is my own laundry. I seriously need to get that done. Also, I need to take down Valentine's Day, y'all. Valentine's Day. We had a gorgeous, gorgeous time in Monterey, which I will be posting that video this weekend because I realize some of you don't like watching vacation or um, escape getaway vlogs. I don't know why, but for those of you who are interested in that, I will be posting that this week because I do want to share that. Uh, if you guys haven't been to Monterey or Carmel or the aquarium, then make sure you check out for that video. But today, I wanted to do a vlog of just like kind of like a day in the life with Dee. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I know this is in the middle, probably right now, of my video. And I just want to say thank you so much for everything. 
it is about close to noon time the garbage man they just left um they just took all my recyclables and all you heard was cling 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 and i was like embarrassing <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> i'm in this decluttering mood and so this morning while my mom was asleep i went through our liquor cabinet which is like this I don't know. I'll try to insert a picture here. I went through everything this morning. I didn't have a whole lot to throw away. There were like odds and ends in there. There were old like liquor. It has probably been there since, I don't know, um, in the 90s maybe. <laughs> we never really drank. So I went ahead and I just got rid of those today. And I placed the bottles in the recycling container. So as you know when that garbage truck came around with that thing where it goes like this and it <coughs> grabs a bucket and it goes ch -ch -ch. yeah all the bottles were all clang 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 clang. I was like <laughs> Well, you know, so anyways, it felt great to get rid of that. It felt great. Now, I'm not too sure what I want to do with that furniture. I only have like maybe three bottles, but they're there for, um, I don't know what they're there for, really. <laughs> so I need to really discuss that with Jay and see what he wants to do with that furniture. It actually goes with our uh, formal dining um, furniture set. It has a hutch. It has the 10-piece uh, formal dining room table and chairs with the um, matching credenza. So I'm not too sure what we're going to do with that. Uh, yeah. Hmm. But some things that just make you go, hmm. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and get back to my laundry and then we'll continue on with this video. <laughs> Pause, 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 pause. Oh, look at that. I got so distracted, you guys. <laughs> I meant to hang up some of the stuff on here so it can dry during the day. And because I got so into talking to you guys, I put, I, look, I can't even talk. <laughs> this is like a total D moment. Instead of taking the darn clothes out of the washing machine I went ahead and I push start so now it's yeah so <laughs> I swear to god I need a body camera on this lady um I would be famous just kidding so what I need to do is I need to do a spin cycle and then start all over yeah I don't don't play like you've never done that before <laughs> oh my god Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a rinse and, or no, drain. Drain and spin. No, your machine, D. Okay. There we go. It's draining. Okay, now that's going. My camera is about to die. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Whoa. All right, so while that is going to go down and um, have that drain and spin, I'm going to go ahead and change out my battery on my camera here, and I'll get right back to you again. <laughs> okay, here we are in my closet. Um, not in the closet, but in our closet. So um, let's check and see if Jay <laughs> has added anything to the bag that I was going to take down and donate to the thrift store. Let's check it, shall we? Let's do it together. Okay. Yeah. Nada. All right. It's been like three. No, it has it has it been three weeks? No, maybe about two. All right. I'm gonna ask him today and see if he can at least put at least two items in there. I'm gonna leave this on the bed and tell him to place two of his things. Cause. It's like jam-packed in there. Then he has all of these that have been on the shelf for a while. And he has all of those in the background. Like I said, we need to really, really start downsizing our stuff. Yeah. I'm going to leave that there and remind myself to remind him to put something in here. Next thing I need to do is grab the tripod here 
and put you guys on the tripod. Alrighty, I need to go through this. I found a lid, another lid. I was gonna save these, I don't think I'm going to. And a box that can be all gone. The struggle is real. This is something that I had found in the cabinet where we stored our liquor. Isn't this pretty? It's a pretty can. I don't know. Too bad I don't have anything that I can use it for at this time. But definitely going to donate that. That is so cute. Apparently it was a gift set. <laughs> working on my planner and I'm adding things to it. I'm always adding things to my planner. I found these yesterday. I went to Tart. Ooh, sorry. I found these in the dollar spot. Aren't those cute? Thought this would be really fun for St. Patrick's Day. But of course, hello, I need to get rid of my Valentine's Day decor. But right now I gotta get to my mom's morning routine and get that done. While she's resting, maybe I'll Take the time and get those out of the way in that too. <laughs> Water her plant. AKA my supervisor there is um, snoozing during the day as she does. Huh, kitty? Tell the viewers how you're doing. Who's my Valentine? Who's my Valentine? She's going to supervise me as I take down the Valentines. All right, time to take these off. These are fun. Dollar Tree. Gotta love Dollar Tree. I got these at Ross. I have one at our kitchen sink as well as this bathroom. But I think I'm just going to leave it there for right now. I mean, I hate to get rid of that, but I keep this here for now. Just for now. Okay, I feel like, um, first of all, I want to let some of you guys know where I got this. I found this here at Joanne's arts and crafts store. I totally like it and I want to save that. And of course, I feel like this is our shrine. <laughs> but um, you know, my dad and stepmom, they always send us cards like every holiday. I just love it. And they never fail. And it's so cute. Even like Valentine's Day, right? You'd only think, you know, your parents or someone would give you things for like Christmas or your anniversary or something. But isn't that cute? My stepmom always thinks of us every occasion so and then this right here is a card that i had received from little ellie it's her star wars valentine's card she was so excited to give this to jerry because remember she calls jay jerry and auntie denise she was so excited and she gave one to queen g and um it has stickers in it chewy chewbacca totally loved it I was excited to receive the sticker and Han Solo. Now, seriously, women, I mean, Han Solo back in the day. Oh, yeah, totally would have been my Valentine. <laughs> so she gave me these two stickers. Cute, huh? So I'm going to keep this and use my stickers probably in my um, Valentine's. And if everybody giving us cards, I mean, my goodness, it was just so cute. So 
gonna go ahead and put these away and thank you Lynn again for the beautiful card we just absolutely love this Ugh, isn't this so adorable Ugh. there be light so oh, i'm in the garage and these are the certain things that <laughs> like this is a christmas blanket it should really be up in the attic in the christmas box you know what i mean let me go up in our attic and see what kind of storage boxes have room so i can put some of the stuff that i forgot because we all do that sometimes <laughs> you put away all your stuff in the attic or wherever it goes and then you find that one towel or that one decoration that you totally forgot about i had my nephew rearrange things up here kind of organized i know it doesn't really look like much but look at all this space now so i think i found two boxes that i can put the items the remaining items that i need to put up here it's going to fit just perfectly so that's a win-win situation for moi got my laundry going mom is um relaxing before we start doing her physical therapy um i gotta be honest i'm i'm feeling a little exhausted lately the last two days i've just been really drained but for somehow today i feel a little bit better but i feel like i need to take a nap being a caregiver with my mom i wake up at let's see midnight then i wake up usually i don't know why but 2 30 has been a thing for me lately 2 30 i'll get up and then when jay wakes up and then sometimes i stay up which is like 4 30 in the morning five but for the last couple of nights i have been just getting up and up and it's really hard for me to go to sleep don't you hate when that happens especially when you know you got to get up in a couple of hours it's hard to go back to sleep but i've been really fortunate to go right back to sleep normally after i had to reposition my mom for those of you who don't know what repositioning is it's when someone is unable to reposition in your bed because you know if you toss and turn like like the average person usually does during the night my mom can't do that for herself i mean she could kind of move a little bit to her what's that to her um her right moving over you know but for the most part she really needs help and that's where jay and i will go in and we will kind of like roll not roll her but we'll reposition her by either lifting her up on one side and then push a pillow on the side of her so she can adjust the weight you know what i mean and then a couple of hours later three hours later four hours later then we'll reposition her weight and then we'll put the pillow on the opposite side so there you go now you know something new repositioning and then throughout the day i do that the same thing but pretty much we're always doing something so right now though is her downtime where she's relaxing and once i put these things up i think i might go downstairs and maybe grab um, a bowl of grapes try to get back onto my eating right and uh yeah but i'm kind of feeling a little tired right now I feel like I've been just on the go, on the go, on the go, on the go. And trying to also film and trying to be... <gasps> Which most times I am, I am. But I am not like always as perky all the time. You know, I do have my moments. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff up here. Put it away. That way I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to ask Jay when he gets home. So mom is just kind of relaxing and chilling. I'm going to take that opportunity and relax and chill. And then, uh, and then we'll see where that leads us. There is part of my hutch and somewhere in here is part of the formal dining room and all of the chairs and everything else is all underneath this. Hello old friend. I do not miss dusting you whatsoever, but I do miss having you around. Got finally all that stuff up there. I saw something moving and I freaked out. I froze because I'm a freezer and it was <laughs> it was connected to the ladder stairs and it like because at first i thought if i see it if i see anything i'm gonna freak out 
Or is there a ghost up there, right? I mean, it's the attic, hello, but luckily it wasn't. It was just movement from the ladder of the step. I had to make sure I wiggled it to make sure that that's what it was. That was kind of making one of the wire thing. Oh yeah, anyways, yeah, a little scary, but at least that's all up there and I don't have to bother Jay with that. So it's hot in there. All right, sister. AKA supervisor, the boss, and also my little furry sister, although she's not fur little. Story time. Can never tell if I'm in focus or not. My laundry is going still. Before we start doing some of her speech skills, I like to have her say some long words like aluminum, monopoly, um, beautiful just so that her pronunciation stays on key also allows me to realize like if she's slurring more she's not she was asleep until like close to 11 today so i know she's pretty tired i'm not too sure if i really want to push her as far as like physical therapy but i definitely need her to get into the wheelchair for dinner tonight i'm going to be making that recipe that a lot of you were really interested when i had videotaped plan with me meal planning it's the monterey pork chop sounds really good i never tried it before so i'm gonna be doing that later on today once jay gets home it's kind of hard for me to move my mom is listening to Soft Kitty being sung. Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. How funny. Free kitty, warm kitty, <laughs> happy kitty. Purr, purr, purr. <laughs> e yeah. <laughs> As I would say in the Navajo language, e yeah. I look awful. Um, but hey, it is what it is. I just got done doing lunch and all that good stuff with mom. I have not started to do our taxes. I'm gonna take this time before Jay gets home and start getting things prepared, you know, like the W-2s, 1090s, whatever it is, receipts. I'm gonna take this time and try to be ahead of the game because April 15th here in the United States is when taxes are basically due. And uh, yeah, it's, well, I mean, it's February 20th, so I'm, kind of sort of ahead right now than normal instead of like doing it like a couple of days right before I want to get a jump start to that today so I'm going to allow myself at least a half an hour just so I don't get overwhelmed a half an hour to go through some of the receipts and start organizing them yeah I think that's what I'm going to do before I make that Monterey pork chop recipe yum so you got two all right. Are you going for a third? You want to rethink that um, Hawaiian shirt back there? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nice. I was just telling people how we just are going to try to downsize, right? So, got two more. Well, that went better than what was expected. So, um, God, my hair looks crazy. I had a little Ellie over. She went to visit Queen G, and then she went to do a puzzle, and then she went to play. And, of course, Auntie Denise had to play. So, um, but, yeah, but back to the program. I got to get dinner going. I wish there was smell-o-vision. I swear this smells. I just have it on the low. 